can find new activities in compost, in soil, and I'm holding here a culture we actually, five years ago, took some compost and took some grass, switchgrass, and we mixed it together and we made a community of microbes that broke down the switchgrass. And um, we've maintained this community for five years and we really learned a lot about how it breaks down the components of biomass. There are two main parts. There's um, sugars, um, which we focus a lot on. They're, they're not easy to break down, but we figured out ways of doing that. But there's also lignin, which is much more complicated and much less simple. And um, what we're starting to do is trying to figure out ways of breaking down that lignin and making products from it. One of the most difficult aspects of, of trying to convert biomass to biofuels is that the plant biomass doesn't want to be broken down very easily. So what we need to do is to think like a microbe and try to understand how the microbe breaks down the biomass and then bring that understanding to bear on making better biofuels from biomass. There have been a lot of techniques developed where you can take the DNA and proteins directly from the environment or from a flask like this and actually study it directly. Now, these have been developed in the last 10 years, but their power is what we're harnessing to try to make these, um, these cultures relevant to converting biomass to biofuels.